All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at Kerbal Hacks wearable KIS props, which is being made by forum user Encios. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a variety of wearable items for your Kerbals to enjoy, some of which are aesthetic, some of which actually have viable in-game uses, and of course, all of which are made possible thanks to the Kerbal inventory system which is of course a prerequisite for this mod to function so get that right out of the way first off and uh, yeah it's a pretty awesome little mod I really love all these small items and especially after the uh, fun I had with the medieval weapons pack recently I'm kind of in a weird mood for things that my Kerbals can use themselves rather than you know just stuff I put on a ship and so let's jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at what all is in this lovely little pack and let's grab ourselves a probe core to pop these things onto zoom in and head down to the EVA items tab which thankfully the mod maker has taken advantage of and put all these various items in here and we'll start off with the first here the cupola glass helmet now this is actually a helmet replacer that uh, basically puts your Kerbal's head in a fishbowl and I'm perfectly alright right with that as it's actually kind of cool it has that sort of 50s sci-fi space feel to it and uh, it's actually a useful item besides the cool aesthetic of being able to see your Kerbal's head from every angle it's also useful if you're using the through the eyes of a Kerbal mod you know we looked at that a while back and you guys may remember when running around you, you kind of shake a bit and you end up seeing the corner of your helmet constantly well, with this helmet, there's no corners to see. It is entirely see-through, so you don't have that problem. So besides just being a cool fishbowl for your Kerbals to put their head in, it actually has that modded use. And uh, yeah, it's overall just a lovely, lovely little item. The next we have is, of course, a pair of aviator sunglasses. What uh, what Kerbal should, would be without a pair of these? This is one of those purely aesthetic items, but you know what? I'm pretty confident that Jebediah is going to be a better pilot wearing these because, I mean, come on, they're aviators. So that is that one out of the way. Uh, the next two are interesting. Not much to actually look at here, uh, but we'll pop them on. Now what these are are helmet lights, and they will actually go on the inside of your Kerbal's helmet to light up their face better. And they come in two colors here, as you can see. We have these sort of blue lights for just a nice sort of atmospheric glow, and a uh, sort of white yellowish light for a more warm glow to things and that is purely what these will do they're in the helmet to light up your Kerbal's face and make them more visible and just whatever effect you're wanting to go for is what you will get with these said lights and they are overall pretty cool and actually I really love these things because it is quite nice being able to see your Kerbal's face especially if it's in the dark or you're on the dark side of a moon or a planet somewhere you know it's it's actually nice to have that extra little bit of light there so let's pop these back in. That is it with those. The next is the hollow goggles, and these are a purely aesthetic item uh, to add a little bit of diversity to your Kerbals. You can put it on their face, and uh, when it's on their face, you can actually change the color of these things so that, you know, you can basically, like I said, add diversity to your Kerbals so that they you can tell them a bit better apart just from a visual look. Or, you know, just have them, you know, have a little rave on the moon. That would be fun. And for some reason, oh, there's the grabbing point. Oh, jeez, I couldn't find it there for a moment. Excellent. We'll pop that off. Uh, the next two are, again, uh, similar items. We have uh, the Hollow Visor Eye Patch. Now they come in two different versions because of the different shapes of the male and female head of Kerbals in the game. So we have a female version and a male version. And that is just the only difference is a slight difference in shape to better fit their heads. Other than that, they are cool little parts. You can see we've got a little animated light going back and forth. And this uh, little circle bit in the center actually does spin around. Kind of hard to see in here. You'll see it a lot better when we are 
are out on the launch pad with a couple of Kerbals. And they are very, very cool little pieces. Now the next one is a Jetpack Light, or Mini Bulb. And this is actually a really cool item as uh, if you are wearing, say, perhaps the Cupola Glass Helmet, well, oh no, you no longer have those lights that are on the top of your normal standard helmet. Well, you can just put this on and it'll put a little boom on the back of your backpack with a light shining forward. A very useful tool. And honestly, I even like putting it on my normal Kerbals, even if they do have their standard light uh, lights on their helmets, because it's just nice having extra light that's always a good thing so there we go we have that the next is the kerbal omni tool and uh, this also comes in two different versions we have the engineer and the blue now the blue one is an aesthetic item it has no use whatsoever besides being very very cool and looking like a mass effect omni tool the engineer version on the other hand actually functions as a screwdriver. So you don't need your Kerbal Inventory System screwdriver that you'd normally have to have to build your ships or attach various parts. You just need your Omni tool. So that is very awesome. I really like that idea as it is, as it says here, an attached tool. And that's just wonderful. And the final thing we have, if we pop these off, is a another aesthetic item, a mic headset. Now this will go on the side of your Kerbal's head, a uh, little bit hard to see with how it kind of fits in there, but you can on the side you can kind of see a blinking light, and yeah, it's just a microphone headset for your Kerbal to wear. No actual use, it just makes them look cool. So let's actually head out to the launch pad where we can take a look at these things on some Kerbals, and see them in a bit better detail close up. So let's go to my Kerbal hack ship that we have here on the launch pad. And we'll start by getting out Jebediah. I think he's the perfect choice for the, for the first go. And let's open up his inventory and then we'll grab a couple of things out of the container here. Now for Jebediah, I'm thinking, of course, we grab the aviators. We grab the useless Omni tool because I don't trust him with building things. And then what the heck, we'll give him the mic headset. There we go, that will be Jebediah's. We'll just have him uh, jump off there. I'll actually remove his helmet so we can better see the wonderful aviators. Oh yeah, oh yeah, those are those are good looking. The useless blue Omni tool, it makes him feel important but it doesn't let him screw anything up. And finally, the mic headset with the sort of pulsating light there. Very, very cool indeed. And there is our new and improved Jebediah decked out with some cool items. Very fun. Now let's head back to the ship and grab out Bill. Now Bill is of course the engineer, so we're gonna have to give him the proper Omni tool. And I think that'll be a very good idea. So let us give him the warm lights, so he has, you know, a bit brighter of a view. The actual jetpack light, so he has more overall light. The engineer tool, and you know what? We'll give him the hollow goggles. There we are, so let's just have him jump off. There we go, fall to the ground. And, excellent. So, first off, let's look at the helmets. I'll zoom in a bit here, and the lights will go on the inside. So if I equip that, there they go. You can see them right there on the edge, and they light up the face perfectly. So if we unequip those, you can really see the difference. Very, very well done. I really do like that. And then if we attach the mini bulb, there it is. It just attaches right to the side of the jetpack and is constantly on. So, you know, you just have that light. We'll have him give him the functional multi-tool there, or omni-tool rather, excellent, and then the hollow goggles. Now I've actually been having some difficulty with the hollow goggles, because if you actually put your cursor behind them, you can see that the hollow goggles glow, and you're supposed to be able to change the color by clicking back here, uh, but I haven't been able to get that to work. I think it might be something with my install, uh, but I've tried multiple things and I haven't gotten it to work yet, but you are supposed to be able to change the color of these by doing that, by holding your mouse back here when they glow and then clicking. But um, 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to work out for me, unfortunately. Hopefully I can get that fixed at some point. Uh, but yeah, I think it's more of a bug with me than with the mod, so I wouldn't worry if I was one of you guys. Now let's head up and grab out Bob, our last one, who is of course a scientist, so he needs to see much more of the world, so let's give him the, of course, oh boy, he kind of popped down there, didn't he? We'll give him the cupola helmet, the sort of more atmospheric lights there, and uh, the hollow visor. Lovely. And we'll just close that. Let go. Bring him up with the others. And of course, zoom in to take a look at the new and improved cupola helmet. Now, the lights will still go on the inside of this thing, and they just sort of attach to the inside of the fishbowl, but still, I like it. And then, of course, the hollow lens there. Very cool. And if we zoom in, actually, we may need to turn off the lights so we can see it better. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the uh, sort of circular bit spinning around. You got the other light going back and forth. Very, very nice. Very cool. I do like that. Oh, we even have, like, some blinking text there in the center where the circle is spin spinning. Very nice, cool. Hopefully he's getting all sorts of wonderful information from that thing. But yes, this is our lovely crew equipped with all their things, and it is pretty awesome. Now if we actually, say, unequip uh, the light here real quick, we can show off the Omni tool, because of course, if we bring this out into the world, with the uh, Omni tool we have, if I hit H, oh, 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 H, am I too, f I think I may be too far away. Whoop, did not mean to do that. Resume flight. There we go. So if we try to attach this, there we are. Now I'm hitting H. We have the attach tool, and that's thanks to our Omni tool having the screwdriver functionality to it. So we could attach this random light to our ship if we so desire, but uh, let's actually just keep that thing in our inventory because, well, it's a good item to have and we'll actually just re-equip it there and bring him back to his friends. And yes, a lovely set of equipment. I really do love this wearable Kerbal inventory system prop idea. It's very cool. I've seen some things like this in the past, but I don't know, something about this one, it just, uh, I think is my favorite of them. All the very cool tools, especially the Omni tools here, the fun fishbowl style helmet, and especially all the different lights of very cool items, fun props for your Kerbals to use. And uh, yeah, if you would like to give them a try for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. But that is gonna be it for today's video, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, that you do go and check out this mod, have some fun, and just, you know, make your Kerbals look a bit more unique. Uh, but that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. You do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!